Yeah. She just needed attention. Alright, uh, are we seeing MoMA or Minecraft Steve? Uh, let's go see Minecraft Steve. I think we saved MoMA for last. Alright. Good boy, MoMA. Aww. Hey! <laughs> Just sitting there. My little boy, he's in elementary school. Uh huh. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized, when you see Death Tub in the mirror, God of Energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Uh-huh. <laughs> no, Tama. You, you had, like, a, 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 an interesting thing going there. You just had to actually nail the punchline, and you didn't. One day, I got uh -huh. a call from school, and a rather heavy-set vice principal told me... Swear to God. You make a fat joke, I'm... Fucking... I apologize, then gave Shoma talking to squeeze until he becomes a rectangle Listen head here, man. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore, but it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? <laughs> okay. You really need. I, look, I, I There's, hate to say it. That's no bazinga. That's no. Yeah. <laughs> that that was a pretty good joke, I think. But you can't. You can't. You can't do a bazinga afterwards. Mm-hmm. Um. You can't do a shitty bazinga. Are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened. Yes. Oh, this is definitely going to be a somnium. You prefer oh yeah. Quiet, right? Oh, please tell me we're going to go in the in the Ferris wheel together, or not the Ferris. <laughs> oh, I thing. want to. Yes. Oh <laughs> hell yeah! This is a great idea. I remember Wait, this part in, the in the Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Oh, what could you get up to, Ryuji? <laughs> Look! The ants are like people! It's the other way around. Wait. The other way around doesn't sound right either. I wonder if he makes enough bad jokes if you'll get the option to just... Exit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, look, if it sucks, hit the bricks. Hit the bricks! So, uh, why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propeller, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Because she's Tama. Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. All the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. <laughs> it's just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yeah. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but... He's still a kid inside. 
With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. You shot your hell mouth. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. I'm Minecraft well, Steve! Minecraft Steve is growing on me. Mm -hmm. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. I want to believe that hasn't been around Shoma is, in fact, um, a ventriloquist dummy. Mm -hmm. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. I hope Shoma and Mizuki are friends. Yeah, me too. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. I, I mean it, it's my only stage outfit. Mm -hmm. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bow tie last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Oh. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. So, uh, why did you host a quiz show? You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. Mm -hmm. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. You're telling me this guy is Ken Jennings? Oh, is that the guy who, um, figured out the, uh, the, the, uh, what was it? The, the, the show, the, the hit the button show. Mm -hmm. Is that the guy who fi figured out the lights on the hit the button show? No, Ken Jennings is the, like, record holder for Jeopardy. And is the guy who won, like, every day for, like, a ridiculous amount of time in a row. Isn't uh, there most... isn't there a new a new uh queen of Jeopardy? Maybe. Jeopardy Queen. Jeopardy Queen? I don't yeah. know. I don't follow Jeopardy too much. I know that he was that Ken Jennings did also host the show for a little bit after um Oh. They did a new host. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. The peak of my life or when I was on quiz went, shows. Mm -hmm. buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. But after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. Because he's a bazinga man. It was so funny. <laughs> ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. No, it was a good bit. Script. Didn't really have a choice. Yeah, it was a good bit. What is this? I'm gonna press the wrong button every time. Uh huh. Ours and music you were called. Team, Team Lemnus Gate. The moment Shin Shinpei was called Team Yakuza! <laughs> Are you sure you want to just be like. like out about that? Look. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then. that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. Okay, maybe he is an Elon Musk pastiche. If I had to guess, the motive was probably mm -hmm. grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him who did that. Ah, does it? A little. A lot, it's more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. If I had a dollar for every character who might be an alcoholic in this game, I'd have three dollars. Who's number three? Sorry, there's Ryuji, there's Komeji, and then there's... Guy who was drinking non-alcoholic. Oh, beer, right. Is an alcoholic anyway. Yeah. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, 
if you'll excuse me. Who's that? That's Arcade. Aeroplanes. Look at all these statues. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's a gate. Gate. There's a what is in the the thing? It's the the orange house, tiny house. Mm -hmm. the, the, this one or the, the other far one? one? The far okay. one had something. The airplane is in the way for the moment, so I'm gonna have mm -hmm. to turn around. And... Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris, it's a Ferris wheel. wheel. It's a bench. Bench. There's a bench. Bench. Stage. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, what about it? Oh, I thought I saw something. Oh, there's a minion. Oh, there's something green. There's, there's a something minion right there. There is a minion there. Where's the green thing? The left. A mini oh, train! A mini train. Oh. Zoom and enhance. <laughs> Tama, Tama, zoom and enhance. I need mm -hmm. to see the train. Alright, All let's, right, go, let's see go see Loma. Let's go see our friend Loma. Now the good the question is are they still gonna have the same good Yakuza music? I really hope so. Yes! Yeah! Wait, you're the director of that quiz show, Chimpe? Uh-huh. <laughs> you got a problem with that? No. But I told you he got out. I don't know if you noticed that tiger. Here? That tiger rug has one eye missing. Yeah, I saw that. That was from He's making an honest living. Oh, is that just to make make it look like Date? I don't think it's specifically a Date so much as a reoccurring motif. Mm -hmm. That's right, boss. Stop calling me that. You're not your boss anymore. You're not a member of the gang anymore. You can't call me boss if you're not a member. How's it going, former boss? <laughs> Did you just hear something? No, nothing. Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake. It's not a real tiger. It's an ashtray in this day and age? How anachronistic is this place? I feel like ashtrays it's still like exist. It's like a Yakuza den in here. That's exactly what it is. Uh-huh. Like, I'm not, a, I'm not a smoking person. I feel like ashtrays still exist. Oh, they definitely do. I mean, maybe she was thinking they should be vaping instead? No dating has some. You I are dating the Yakuza. Your bros are your bros. There is no hoes involved. 24. How to go... <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, do you think Kicktop is a, is a TikTok joke or a Kickstarter joke? Or both? Uh, I originally thought TikTok. See, I originally thought Kickstarter. Do re me. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I love these dorks. What is that? That's so good. It's the door. Hey, I wonder if there's anybody behind that door. I don't know. Too bad we can't x-ray it. Yeah. A dragon with a gold ball. Kind of like us, Ryuki. Hmm. You're not made of gold, though. That's true. That's a fact. Dragon balls. Those are dragon, dragon, these balls. There are a lot of lanterns lined up here. Maybe Moma hung them up. Wait, who's hung? Who? Huh? Moma? Moma's hung, huh? That's not what I said. You can't Tama. see, but I'm just doing those, like, long blinks, you know? Mm-hmm. Family altar. This is where uh, Moma hides his ASAP merch. Yeah, I wonder if he has more. I hacked into it. <laughs> There are a ton of videos of salmon laying eggs in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't think, shame. Don't think that's a problem? We all have our own interests. That's really fucking funny. That's pretty good. 
All right, who do you want to talk to first, Momo or Shinpei? Uh, I want to hear from Shinpei. How are you doing, buddy? I love I loved you in the first Zero Escape. Uh huh. So, uh, why do you leave? Well, my girl is a baby on the way right now. Aww. Aww. So we decided to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision, so much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. But a man has to do what a man has to do, right? So I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could... Oh, I get it. Then I'll try asking him for you. Why were you talking to Iris about this? <laughs> Why? I mean, I guess Iris what? probably comes here. I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. Why does Iris come to the Yakuza Den, Malice? I, they probably treat her very nicely there. I guess that's fair. Uh, why did you come back? I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba. This place is on the way. Why Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Sir, you're married. Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. Mm hmm My girlfriend works there. Oh. I actually used to attend a vocational school to learn about film. <laughs> I wanted to be a porn director. Uh huh Hell yeah! These are connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows, and I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. I uh, was reading about a, a, a porn director actually uh, the other day who's getting really popular. Mhm. Mm yeah, he's uh, up and coming. <laughs> you think he's um? He's, uh, down with the sickness? No, no he, he's up and coming. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you for saving me. How many legs do you like? Ooh, six. Six legs? Yeah. Five vaginas. Maybe more. Imagine. So why was the director one of the contestants? We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. I had no choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. And Moma agreed to participate? Huh? Well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. So just to be clear, there were only two people of the six who were actually invited. <laughs> Boss Don't worry and about Iris it. were the because I Mizuki wasn't supposed to be there. Mizuki was there because Iris couldn't find someone. Uh, Boss was supposed to be there. Uh, Ryuki was invited there because Boss's friend couldn't make it, and Chinpei was there as a last minute. Ch Chinpei wasn't supposed to be there, and Momo only came as a favor to Chinpei. Cool. Uh huh. Then he agreed right away. This production is a mess. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. The report is uploaded on the database. Oh, can we access the database? There isn't any information that can help us at all. What about the other contestants? Six to midnight. That's still a long time. Oh, they were supposed oh, to walk out every hour. Okay. okay. I wouldn't know anything about the others. I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there, either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. Hmm. I don't know, I All think right. it would be... I think it would be, uh a good idea to investigate the rigging in that place, because it's always like a bunch of lighting and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably the first thing they did. This is where the chairman sits. The chairman's chairman. Chair. The chairman's chair. 
So, uh, why were you? I mean, we already kind of know. Yeah, there we go. It is what it is. I like that. They're actually yeah. doing these interesting. Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. I do really like Momo and the Kumakuras. I gotta I say, like... they might be the best. They, they're they're pretty good. Of like, look, we are we are yakuza, but we're trying to be on the up and up about it. Mm -hmm. I'm pissed about the case too. That co-appearance was like a dream come true. The whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true. The boss and Tessa got to <clears throat> shut it. Anyway, I'd love to help you with your investigation and all, but unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful to you. You have any leads? I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? No, oh, they were the only suspicious, suspicious people. people. Hmm. Well, I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Uh huh. Kameji? You mean. Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Oh, Minecraft Steve. Yeah. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. You, oh, so you know. You are, you are the Yakuza. I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though that might not have anything to do with last night. Go back to investigating Kameji. Meiji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel now. Yeah. Got it. And let's go somewhere else. Let's Pokemon go back to the office. We're going back to this HQ. Yeah. I wonder if Date's gonna be playing the darts machine. I don't think Date can play darts. He doesn't have any depth perception. That's true. Okay, this kind of rules, though. <laughs> Never mind. The inside of this kind of rules. Yeah. yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. It does mean we don't get the eyeball steering wheel, though. I wonder who's driving the car. Ooh. Lady. Lady. Who's... Screw my little girl. Ah! But, you surprised me! I thought that the ghost of an S&M pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> Roaster! Roaster! Roaster? Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? Don't I'm still not about showing you your body. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So... Why did you come out? Because she was ready. You can't just ask someone why they came out. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. What'd you come out as? I... Uh, I... Uh, pervert. Hmm. Speaking of... Oh, yeah. This is a good idea. Oh, okay. Just resting or staying late. What's tomorrow's weather Tom? like? What's tomorrow's weather like? Oh, it'll be so wet. There could be a huge flood. Thanks. I was Thanks, hoping Tama. that that would change her outfit in game, but that I guess that makes sense. That it yeah. Doesn't. That's too that bad. That would probably probably make things a little too silly at, at points. But what's what the point you if Honestly, it's not gonna be silly? It's a bad taste. It makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. I'm just saying, like, imagine that last scene in I, the Somnium File, the first one, where, uh, Date, where Date's like, I have a, uh, code, what is it, 4125? Uh, yeah. And then, I have a- Listen, I, I, are you I, telling I you, me- I never want to see you again. Wouldn't that be better if Iva was wearing a fucking- uh, 
women want me fish fear me hat. <laughs> yes, or a hot dog costume. Uh huh. Then you be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I control the gas and the brakes. I sense signal like kind of, it's technically a self-driving car. No, it's a Tama driving car. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh, parents rich away. boy. Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. Like six years ago. Six years. No, so. Six years ago. So that's at the time of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah, like approximately. A couple after, yeah, approximately a couple months after. I wonder if he was one of the victims. No, no he wasn't, because they're all, all women. Yeah, they were all young, young girls. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Dante and Iris. Said? Also, the beginning of the game explicitly said, "Hey, it's not going to tie into the first one. Like, there, there's not going to be spoilers." Unless you want there to be spoilers, but like they're not connected. Cases well, I mean, connected. it's this is not it's not the cases aren't connected, but the characters might be connected. I mean, that's I, I guess for some reason, just the right half. I get traveled through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension, and that's split the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just... For some reason, it's stuck in my head. Yeah, it's, it is weird that they both said that. Yeah, they're really telegraphing it. I wonder if the the last part, last remaining part of his parents, like, included all the alcohol? Mm hmm Like, we got so much booze in this car and I'll never finish it by myself! It's a reminder of my parents! This, do you know how old this stuff is? I'm not like an expert, but I think if you're aging like a wine, you have to do it in a certain way. I think if you just buy a wine and keep it in a car for 15 years. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Useful information to sort out in the first place. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of all trash. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. <laughs> Okay. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. What information, Tama? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. I guess there is also the Bat 69 video. Mm -hmm. Everyone was nice. talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There was a code hidden inside Bats 490. So this was happening well, like the code reveals a specific location before like right before or around the time the first game was happening. The bats yes. 490. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. It's that the world of the hey, videos, Jane. Is Bats mm -hmm. 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here oh, is. time for a trip! Let's fucking go! Yeah, there's 490 bats there. Oh, hell yeah! Spills. Oh no! You're gonna get poked! Oh, shit! Uh-huh. Rip, rip me, burn me. Fourth. Mm -hmm. See, it's not at all like it, but I am now just thinking about Colin's bear animation. Is that the Flat. one? Is that the one with the the dancing bears? Yeah, the, the like the one dancing bear. Hell yeah! It's good, classic of internet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Tama, aren't you like a computer? 
No, they took away. They they she, they traded in her self-respect. By which I mean, fucking like you are. being a pervert for titties. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube. Then it spread from there. ViewCube. Hello, ViewCube. Hello, ViewCube. Today we're gonna be looking at some football. Bats, 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 bats. Ah, where Tama go? Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. Uh -huh. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. Was their name, like, Shoma or something like that? He decoded the hidden message in Bat 490. Mm -hmm. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Uh-huh. He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! You called it! Isn't that... Andy's Kameji's... They're friends, I've decided. I hope they're friends. I think we're both agreed that music needs more friends. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? Oh no. The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind like if I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Machine part. Toy, it's not a toy robot. It's a it's an it's a advanced model. Mm -hmm. Trophy. It's old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Quiz King's trophy. Mm -hmm. Toolbox. A, a toolbox. A box for tools. What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device. A device. It's a CRT TV. But do you think you can pick up digital broadcasts? It could, with a dedicated tuner. Uh huh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> it also kind of looks like a bailet. And then you breathe. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Tama. Wait, this was supposed to be touching? I don't know, I like that one. Yeah. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she's the goddess of entertainment and laughter. It's too bad you can't just like start raiding his house. Mm -hmm. it's oh, I was gonna. I was actually gonna say. I wonder if that's the same line as Adder Rabbit. Hell yeah! It's a character. It's a character, dumbass. It's an anime, dumbass. Slapstick. Uh huh. Slapstick hammer. Hell yeah. Uh huh. Can I not look at the, the draw or the drawing? That's weird. Oh, well, so uh. Oh, there's a there's a quiz show button. Look. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, can we not press it? Can't press it yet. You know what? I respect. I respect that. Uh, what are you making? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. No. So. Um... You know Mizuki, right? I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. Have you ever thought that maybe he can't hear? <laughs> Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Uh huh. If he can't, if he can't hear, why does he have headphones on? I don't know. You know about the video. Maybe he's got cold ears, night, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in BATS 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. 
Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Oh, but you, if only there was some way that we could get information from someone who's completely ignoring us. That's a little drastic. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. Tama, please. Tama, this is a child. What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Tama, fucking stop. Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. Press the buzzer. Ding! Yes, Shoma. What is your answer? Okay, he's got to know. You get. Do you think? What? What do you think it is? Uh. Let's see. What's close to? Probably the toolbox, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try the toolbox. <clears throat> no. Nope. Oh no. Okay. Shoma, get in the robot. That robot is so cool. Do you want to watch TV together? Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? <laughs> that poem probably isn't the key. Oh, come on now. God, please help. <laughs> you can help yourself. <laughs> Playing in somebody's... Wait, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought the f the family altar was for family members and not necessarily like that's where everybody in the family goes to pray. I do not know. Yeah. Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Uh, what about Ar at a rooster? Nope. Nope. X-ray. X-ray. What is that? That's a robot. A robot? It looks like a robot. It kind of looks like X-ray. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially a available. Bit. A homemade robot, huh? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, you want to see something cool? Mm-hmm. Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? <laughs> How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Komeji told Okay, know. then. Just for a bit, okay? Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's, like a, that's like a robot. That's a robot robot. You made that? Yeah. I call it Robotic. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. Hold on. I have to go feed it. What do you think of shrimp? <gasps> red! Red. Shrimp red. are red. Some shrimp are red. It's being heated. No. Oh no, we got oh, another child We got we got another iris. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then clearly we have to be um So boss is brave, so we just want low braveness, I guess. Uh-huh. I guess. I think we wanna I wanna go max crazy. I think I've said this before, but yes. This cool robot. It is a cool robot. <laughs> compliment strongly. I don't yeah, know compliment strongly. Compliment like crazy. Choma, you're the smartest. You're the smartest boy. Oh, that's really amazing. I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself. A genius like you must be one in a hundred million. I like to imagine that the other line is the exact same, but it's a genius like you must be one in one hundred billion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the compliment like crazy. No, no. I'm not that special. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. So, uh, what are you working on? One of the parts for Robota. 
The robot running around. Mm -hmm. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. That'd be pretty cool. Hell yeah. Then you don't have to walk anywhere. She's just a classmate. No, you're friends. I've decided. <laughs> We're not friends or anything. Uh huh. I don't talk to her much. You should become Do you friends. Wish you could talk to her more. Uh, no. Of course not. Uh huh. Even though she's cute. That Ugo? She's not cute at all. Right. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. Mizuki can an Ugo. I want to. What are the headphones for? Yeah, what are those headphones for? Put them on so I can concentrate better. Mm hmm. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. Yeah, I, I know people who use those. Yeah. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. I, that's okay, kid. Why not? Well, because. Because he's Minecraft Steve. Yeah. My dad is Minecraft Steve, and it's Man. uber cringe. Now, what do we think? think is this kid autistic? Yes. Yes. I solved it. Hmm? The bad's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? Actually, that totally makes sense through. because if you look, he's not looking at you. He's looking away. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, oh, that's also true. There are so many signs. There, I, there are so many signs. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. Bloom Park. And where is that? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Huh. Clone? Cloning, remember. I, I don't think you can make clones. That's it might not be illegal, but... Oh, fuck oh, yeah. yeah! That's the same suit from, uh, from uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Oh my god, it is! Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. What is up with his fucking glasses yet? His 60th birthday was Oh, wow, he year. looks good for 60. Yeah. Got that daddy undercut. That's neat that that is like, that is like exactly the same one they use in Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, I like mean, they that. probably Maybe. reuse the thing. Did you drink that fluid inside <laughs> the I, I don't think so, because I don't, like... Absolutely not. That was a long what time ago. You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant, green, muscular freak? Like the Jolly Green Giant. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. Tom is like, that's kind of sexy. Yeah, I, I, I highly doubt they're reusing assets from Virtue's Last Reward, because that... One, that was originally a 3DS game, and, mm -hmm. um... Like, that does not look like a 3DS asset right there. Yeah, I, I suppose, one. even though it's, it's kind of far back, I, it's probably not. Yeah. I could have used it as like a used it as a base though. Yeah. I really appreciate this robot arm that is just pulling one test tube from one thing and putting it into another. It's mm -hmm. just it's just we need this guy to do something, or else he's yeah. gonna we we need to keep him occupied, so we're just gonna Excuse me. What is that statue? Oh. That's uh Zeus. That's, that's Caduceus. Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It would take a while to explain, so... I wanna know. Another time. I wanna know if I was right. Actually, it's probably something from, um... Hindu mythology. Because hmm. that seems like, uh... The... The... The way they're going for this game. That would make sense. There was some test tube. Rather That's die cheap. than drink it. Why do one or the other when you could do both? Yeah. Claims to be pro <laughs> claims to be protest tube dies anyway. <laughs> Is that anything? I think so. Yeah. 
You got biopods. something. Biopods. I love I love biopods. Which biopod should we check? Ooh, the pink one. <laughs> pink one. Oh, looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. Looks like I your mom like might be trapped things. inside. His mom's dead. Yeah, where do you think they're storing the body? Yeah, I know. It's full of hyper realistic red blood. Mm hmm. Uh, so about this is We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with genome editing? Yeah, you gotta Thanks CRISPR it up. Places. Yes. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Yeah, I, I, I understand. In other words, it's I a technology that rewrites DNA. Yeah. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call Urge. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Normal thing to call your gene editing No, method. okay, do you think that the when they're using Purge, um, everything becomes legal? Yeah. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat... ...become even more difficult to treat. <laughs> we made it harder. <laughs> For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. Mm -hmm. I think there should face. be a rule in science class where they say, hey, if you ever think you're gonna reach like immortality in your science, stop. You've gone too far. That You've is gone the sign. Too far. Yes. If you were looking for a sign that you have gone too far, it is when you start talking about immortality. Oh, your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. Oh, they're gonna talk about telomeres. It can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. Do you think that's why he looks so good for 60? Yeah, I think he's been high on his own supply. Mm. Although, actually, when did he say that they made Purge? Just this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year. I, I don't think he looked like this at 59. Well, maybe maybe it's a, it rewrites things. Like, makes However, you younger. However, this has not yet maybe. been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for I for don't... thousands of years. I don't know that that's soon become everybody's been yearning for it. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't say it's the ultimate dream. I think, you know, it's certainly you some people. Isn't that wonderful? Did I you say no. It's fine. <laughs> cool, I guess. Um, do you happen to know Jin? I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. But you have the same color hair. Yeah. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetic Look research. that fucking face he's making. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. We have nothing in common. You have the same color hair! Yeah. We must know each other. Uh, which do you want to ask first? Let's, let's start with the QR video. Alright. Uh, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. What were you doing around 6 a.m. on the 9th? Jen's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> uh-huh. Is there anyone who could back your story? My wife. <laughs> I don't know, he's- no, he's Tell definitely me, not suspect. married. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. You know, that's understandable. <laughs> Good for you. Your dream came true. There are things that I, I very much either want to say or want to have said no to me, and me so I fully understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Chikara got divorced six years ago. Six years ago. As for children, uh -huh. he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. You know, we didn't see too much, in other words, in the first game. <laughs> Not nearly as much as okay? in the Don't you think something's Zero escape. off about Chikara? Yeah. You think so? I mean, he, 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 he's a massive fucking head. Yeah. We really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile <laughs> games. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Here to promote Reed Shadow Legends. <laughs> mobile games can be fun. <laughs> Most of the time, though, they take you to a pay to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. Can you pull the pins, Malice? Pull the pins? Can you pull the pins to, to get the, the guy to the treasure without dunking oh, in the lava? Oh, god. Yeah. What is, did, you, did you look at the, um, the center pillar thing? Yeah. Oh. It's just a monitor. Uh, okay. Nothing interesting. There, but... Huh. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? I was like halfway expecting there to be a warm spot around the crotch. Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. <laughs> Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's give it a shot. With wink sink. Okay. Fascinating. Look into their dream. Huh? Wink sink. Cool. <laughs> this is definitely not fucker. suspicious yeah, at all. Yeah, I was all. gonna say, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <sighs> the video. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. Oh, we only have six seconds. But you're still taking a look inside their dreams. The dreams are made from memories, so there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying Chikara knows about that's 490. <laughs> look at the fucking. so fucking tired. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? Wink Sink is a simpler version of sinking. From the eyeball, that's me. Mm -hmm. A strong magnetic wave is shot out of the sink subject. The tempor this temporarily numbs the subject's brain, puts their brain into a fake sleep state, and induces a dream. By analyzing the faint brain that is emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sink needs to be performed. The wing sink can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. We need to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. Okay. So it puts the puts the, the person to sleep temporarily, and then that's fucked up. I don't like yeah. that. It's not great. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. E. <laughs> Very well. I'll go with you. <laughs> 